Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey here, once again with another video on The Flash Season 4. So just quickly before we get into the rest of the video, I will be announcing the giveaway of the uh, Star Labs t-shirt that I uh, started about a week ago. So if you entered that giveaway, be sure to stick around until the end of the video to find out if you did win. So later this week, we have episode 11 of The Flash Season 4, otherwise entitled The Elongated Night Rises. And uh, if you have not seen the promo, I'll quickly play it again right now, and then we'll move on to some more stuff regarding this episode. I used to be somebody who saved lives. Now I'm just Barry Allen, inmate number 3562. Hello again, Central City. These people need our help. I'm not fearless like you are. Having the ability to help someone that's a greater life. Come on! Let's rise up. Rise above that fear. The Flash, all new this Tuesday at 8, 7 central on The CW. So that promo was all well and good, and we did break down all of what was in that trailer in a video from yesterday, which I will link down below if you are interested in watching that if you have not seen it. But what we are going to be going over in this video is the promo images for this episode, which do reveal so much more than what we saw in the trailer. Well, I won't say that. They, they just reveal even more stuff about this episode. That's, that's the best way to put it. It did sound like I was sort of dragging the trailer there at one point. But anyway, before we get into that, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below what catches your eye in these primary images and let me know if I miss out on anything that you think is of any importance in the comments section down below, as well as being sure to leave a like on the video if you're going to enjoy it and subscribing to the channel if you're new. So let's just jump straight into it and the first handful of photos we have are of Barry simply within Ironhide's prison getting used to his new surroundings and, well, he doesn't seem to be enjoying them that much, does he? We do see in one of them that he's actually approached by the prison warden. Now, Earlier in the season, I think it was when Ramsey Deacon, aka Kilgore, was locked away in Iron Heights, it appeared, or at least gave off the impression that the Warden was somewhat connected to DeVoe's plan, as he gave off like a cheeky smirk of sorts when looking upon uh, Kilgore, or Ramsey Deacon, in his prison cell. We are. Did I miss something? So make of that clip what you will, but it does seem that the Warden has something up his sleeve, whether it be that he is connected to the Thinker, or if he has just plans of his own. We will have to wait and see, I guess, but this episode should hopefully explain, like, something around that. Like, even at the end of last episode, when he was, like, locking Barry up in jail, he was being, like, cheeky and cocky around Barry, as if, like, oh, I've, this is another step in my plan, or a plan that I'm attached to. So it was a bit weird, but yeah, hopefully this episode, they give us at least, like, a hint of what's going on with that. The next couple of images introduce the character of Big Sur to the show. Now, Big Sur, like what a prison name, like how cliche is that? Now, Big Sur is actually played by Goldberg, the WWE wrestler. Now, a while back, he was announced as showing up at some time this season on the show, but they didn't specify when or who he would be playing. Now, earlier this week, I did predict that Goldberg would be playing a prisoner once Barry went to prison, and that's what happened. Goldberg is one big unit, just like by looking at him, you can tell that. And I have a feeling he might be one of those tough on the outside, soft on the inside sort of characters, and will take Barry under his wing and protect him. Which I think we can all agree, Barry needs that. He needs some friends in prison because everyone seems to be at his head. We do then get some shots around the scene. A lot of people were talking about from the trailer, and that was the scene in which it appears that Barry is about to be shanked by some other inmates of Iron Heights. And while the trailer did heavily suggest that was going to happen, it does look like Big Sir, Goldberg's character, may intervene here and once again protect Barry. Like we may as well just think of Big Sir as like Barry's guardian angel while he is in prison. But yeah, seeing what goes down in this episode around Barry in prison and getting used to it all is going to be very interesting. And I know a lot of people are waiting to get like a recreation of the shot we had at the end of season one when Barry was running back in time to the night his mum died and we saw, you know, Barry in prison. That could happen anytime in the next few episodes as we do know Barry will still be in prison the episode after this one as well. So let's hope we do get that like recreation at some point. Now we move on to some stuff with the Trickstar, but not the James Jesse version that's played by Mark Hamill, but this is actually the Axel Walker version of the character, the one we saw all the way back in season one and haven't really seen since. We can see him here playing a more like deadly game of Wheel of Fortune by the looks of it, with both Sisko and Kaylin in her Killer Frost attire, by the way, looking on in not the most like joyous of emotions because they're probably the contestants in this deadly game of Wheel of Fortune. Now, Trickster is actually joined by Prank, his loyal sidekick, and the coolest thing about this 
is that they actually brought back a version of Prank from the 1990s version of the Flash TV show. There were actually two versions of Prank from the 90s show. There was like Megan Lockhart, who was the first version, but she was one that was sort of forced to be the, you know, Prank by the Trickster. And then we have Zoe Clark, which is the one we have in this episode, who very like heavily resembles like Harley Quinn. Essentially like uh, James Jesse in the show was on trial for being the Trickster. I think the episode was actually called Trial of the Trickster, Trial of the Flash, see the similarities. And she sort of freed him and then he was going to go back to some other criminal ways and she like convinced him to be the trickster. So like he was, she was seen as like the proper prank if that makes sense. So this is pretty cool that she is back. You could say that it is like heavily disappointing that Mark Hamill isn't in this episode with his old partner in crime, but they could name drop him at some point, which I'm guessing will happen, hopefully. And I wonder if they will set up that she was like James Jesse's sidekick back when he was the trickster in this universe or whether she joined this Axel Walker version. And it's just like, you know, like paying homage to the old 90s show that she's be just back on it. I wonder if they're going to, you know, trace her back to James Jesse or not. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. But this is when we finally get our first like, OK, look at Ralph Dibney's new suit. And it does look like in this episode, he will be officially called the Elongated Man. As I said, the episode title is The Elongated Knight Rises. So you would have to think at some point he will get that name, especially seeing that he's also getting his new suit as well in the episode. Now, Ralph is going to be in his gray onesie pajama suit at some stage in this episode, as we do see in the trailer for this episode. But it does look like he might chicken out, forcing Cisco and Caitlin to step in and eventually get captured, which then forces Ralph to step up along with his new suit and save the day. But we do finish it all off with the best possible look at, well, at least the top half of Ralph's new suit. And you can see a good amount of details and things that he is rocking. The thing that is the most jarring, I guess, are the goggles he is wearing. I did see someone point out that they sort of look like Black Lightning's goggles. And I sort of have to agree. It's almost like the Flash prop people forgot some, you know, sort of identity masking piece for Ralph and just took a spare pair of Black Lightning's goggles. Anyway, that's the only thing I'm a bit iffy about. The rest of it looks pretty cool to me, even though I do think he will get another upgrade later on this season at some point, even if it is only like a minor one in comparison to this upgrade from the gray suit. Having a closer look at the actual suit though, on his left side or our right side, you do see this device sort of thing here that does look a bit like the, or a lot might I say, like the splicer that Firestorm would use to merge and separate. But obviously that's not what this is because why the hell would Ralph need that? My best guess as to what it could be is that it is a sort of like vacuum seal for his suit. It has like a little button there. So maybe he presses it and the suit like, you know, contours to match his body shape. That's just my best guess. Like my best guess, sorry. So sort of like aligns to his body. That's just what I think it could be. But if you have any other guesses as to what it could be, do let me know in the comments section down below as I am curious as to what everyone else thinks it could be because I'm sure there's a, you know, a variety of options that people have. But now let's move on to the giveaway time. So I actually asked you if you would rather be able to fly or run fast, as well as give me a reason why you would want to do that in the, uh, the giveaway question that I did about a week ago. And the winner of the giveaway, the Star Labs t-shirt is actually Indiana McKenzie. So just message me on YouTube and we will sort out your prize and get that out to you as soon as possible. But thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'll be awesome if you could drop a like on the video to show support. Let me know in the comments section down below your different opinions on what I've gone through in this video, as well as, you know, specifically Ralph's new suit. What do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you think that little button does that he has on his left side? Do you think it, you know, as I said, like contours to his body or something like that? Let me know in the comments section down below what you think about all of that. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.